Ah, oh, it's recording. Okay, hang on. Hello there, um, monotremes. If you're seeing this video, that means we're up to the next stage, which is rehearsing your monologues. I'm using these handy tripods that you may have seen your teachers already use in class. I've been asked to try it out myself, so expect me to use a tripod and recording myself in class as well. This is like a little play around and test around with the tripods today. And it's pretty impressive. I quite enjoy it. All right. So, rehearsals. So by now you've written your monologue, it's all ready to go, and now we need to try and perform it. And everyone started freaking out because they're like, well, Mr. Chiodo won't let us have the bit of paper in front of us and read it. No. Why? Because how can you get into character and act out if you're just sitting there reading a bit of paper and just, you know... Hi. I'm... I didn't kill Humpty Dumpty because I was playing with my friends and dancing. So you can't really do that holding a piece of paper. It doesn't give you that space. It limits your freedom to be able to get up and move about. So. What I'm going to teach you today is some tips and tricks on how to memorize your lines. All right. Now, everybody has different ways of memorizing, memorizing things, and maybe these tips won't, they might work for you, they might not, but they're things that have helped me remember things, memorize um, large pages worth of script for um, full-length plays and things like that when I was younger and up on stage performing. So maybe these tricks might help you too. So this video is to help you start off and give you some tips and tricks. All right. All right, so the first step is um, taking a chunk, small portions of your um, script and memorizing it over and over and over again. So we're gonna pretend that your assistant task is the script. Um, Say I want to memorize this paragraph here, okay? Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death from a very high wall where everybody else was having fun at the fairy tale disco. You're not going to be able to remember all of that if you just keep repeating it like that. So you chunk it. You take a phrase at a time and just repeat it over and over again. So what I'm going to do, Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death. See how I put a line here? That's what, that's the part I'm just going to say over and over and over again till it's in my head. So, Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell, de fell down to his death. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death. Just did that without using the script. Next phrase, from a very high wall. From a very high wall, 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 from a very high wall. Now let's put it together. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell to his death from a very high wall. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell to his down to his death. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death. Say that ten times fast as a tongue twister for you. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death from a very high wall. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death from a very high wall. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death from a very high wall. While everybody else is having fun at the fairy tale disco. While everybody else is having fun at the fairy tale disco. So again, you take the next phrase. While everybody else is having fun at the fairy tale disco. While everybody else is having fun at the fairy tale disco. While everyone, everybody else is having fun at the fairy tale disco. Then you go back to the top and you keep going over and over again. So, Humpty Dumpty tragically fell from a very high wall while everybody else was dancing at the fairy tale disco. Did you see a paper in my hand? No, I just memorized the very first sentence and you can do that too, and so on and so forth until you get your paragraph or your monologue done. That is idea number one. Idea number two is the use of palm cards. With the palm cards, you put in some keywords. So let's pretend the back of this page is a palm card, obviously. It's way bigger than a palm but you're going to pretend this is a palm card for the sake of modern responses. So I'm gonna come up with some keywords. So, memorizing the sentence again. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death from a very high wall while everybody was dancing at the fairy tale disco. Still memorized it. 
But now I'm going to do it with using keywords. So here's the topic of the sentence, Humpty Dumpty. So I'm just going to write Humpty Dumpty tragically fell, fell would be a keyword, to his death. Very high wall, fairy tale disco. Here's my first sentence. So I write that on a little piece of paper, have it in front of me, and try and memorize it. Those keywords to help you remember what comes next in the sequence. Then you slowly take those palm cards away and then you start um, acting it out. So, got Humpty Dumpty felt death, very high wall, fairy tale disco. So I'd be reading this like this. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell from a very high wall while everybody was dancing at the fairy tale disco. Boom, 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 boom. Use those keywords to help memorize. All right. Third tip is pick a partner and test each other out. One person is looking at your script and the other person is trying to say the script and you help each other memorize that way. Partner work, work's a treat. Okay, off you go. Um, uh, Humpty Dumpty fell to his, um, um, hmm. tragic. Oh yes, yes. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell to his death from a very high wall while, while, while everybody. Oh yes, yes, yes. Humpty Dumpty tragically fell down to his death from a very high wall while everybody else was having fun at the fairy tale disco. Good job. Now it's my turn. You read my script. Okay, okay. So here are three tips that you could try in the classroom to help you memorize your lines and you guys can do it. I've seen lots of kids that have panicked before and were like, no, I can't get up and memorize lines. Yes, you can and you'll be able to do it and you'll do amazing. Like I know we're doing state school students always do. All right, have a go. Try any one of those tips to help you out and maybe you might have figured out something else that helped you that's helping you remember your lines. And maybe you can teach me some tips as well. We're all in this together, we're all helping each other out here. All right, I'm gonna leave it here for now, otherwise I'm gonna spend the whole lesson time talking when you need to be out doing. So go out and do, my children, and have fun. See you next time, bye.